Hey guys, this is Brittany with The Crafting Spot, and for this tutorial, we will go over how to make an SVG. Now, as you see in this particular example, it's all one layer. Many don't want to layer multiple layers on top of each other, so we'll use the trace feature, the text, offset, and the modify panel to make this design. Ready? Let's get started. First, we need to trace our ribbon. So pull it onto the mat, make it large, and open your trace window. Next, click Select Trace Area and drag it over the entire ribbon. You'll want to adjust your threshold to make sure that it's completely covered in so that you can get a good trace. Once you're happy with the trace, go ahead and click on Trace at the bottom. Next, go ahead and move the original design out of the way and you should have a clean trace. For now, let's move this out of the way and go ahead and work on our text. Personally, I like to type each word individually so that I can easily adjust the placement of the words. But this can be done also by adjusting the spacing of the characters and the lines. So I'll type it out individually and then I'll select the font. Once I've chosen a font, I'll add color just to make sure that it looks the way that I want it to, and then we'll proceed to the next step. Next, I'll go over the placement of the words. I just wanna make sure that they're lined up to my liking. You'll notice that I chose a script font. So removing the color shows you that these fonts need to be welded. If not, and you try to cut this, it will splice into each of your letters. So go ahead and make sure that you weld the font and then group it together. You can go back and add color and then this should cut as a solid piece. Next, you wanna put the two pieces together. So add the text to the ribbon, do any adjusting that you need to do and make sure that you're happy with the placement of it all. Normally I would have done it sooner, but here I'll add some color to the ribbon to just make sure that I like the way that it looks together. To avoid having a layer, we'll make sure that the whole design is flat. So go up to the top and do an offset around your text. Normally I do it at about 0 0.040, so just give it a slight offset for the next step. I typically make sure that if my font is round, then my offset's going to be round as well. Once you're done, select your offset and then go down and be sure to group it together. You'll need to make sure that it's grouped for the next step. Make sure that your text is on top of the ribbon. Select the offset and the ribbon. Go up to the modify panel and click on subtract all. This will eliminate the space where the offset is from the ribbon. Once that's complete, select the offset only and delete it. This will leave the space where the offset was open and the design flat. Go ahead and group your text back together. Make sure that your ribbon is together and you're done. After you group the text and the ribbon individually, be sure to group them both together. Make sure that it is on your mat and that it's selected as one whole group. Go up to the top, go to file, save selection, and save it to your hard drive or your library. Select SVG and you're done. That's all there is to it. As always, thank you for joining us in the crafting spot and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit the inbox, like this video and share it with a friend. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Join us on Facebook. I'll drop a link in the description below. It's your girl Brittany signing off. Stay crafty.